Hey guys, welcome back to Main Street Living. Uh, Danielle, Tom, I don't know about you guys, but it seems like there's a museum for just about everything. And I have to admit, some of them are pretty unique. Uh, for instance, Boston, they have a museum of bad art. California has the International Banana Museum. And Milwaukee, Wisconsin, they have a museum that might leave you shaking your head. Yes, in a good way. The National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum houses the world's largest collection of bobbleheads. And Phil Sklar is here with all the details. Welcome back to Main Street Living, Phil. Yeah, thanks for having me back. So for those who didn't catch you last time you were on the show, what kind of background can you give us on the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum? How did it get started? What's the mission? Yeah, so we just did an updated count. We now have over 10,000 bobbleheads on display. Uh, before, I think we had about 7,500 estimated, but uh, we had several people count and verified over 10,000 now. But we're headquartered in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We have also, in addition to the bobbleheads, exhibits about the history, how they're made, the stories behind them, and just really started with the personal collection and grew from there uh, into the museum and a company that produces bobbleheads. Wow. It's baseball playoff time. So how are you and the museum celebrating the playoffs? Yeah, so it's really an exciting time with baseball playoffs going on and all the other sports uh, really going on at one time. Um, so it's an exciting fall season for us. But yeah, baseball playoffs are a lot of fun. Bobbleheads and baseball go hand to hand. So we have quite a few uh, baseball bobbleheads, both some celebrating World Series champions and a lot of other uh, baseball bobbleheads for fans to get uh, celebrating their favorite baseball team. Yes, baseball playoffs going on, so very exciting time. But are there other sports that we can find represented in the museum? Yeah, so basically every sport is represented in, in the museum in our online store and also at the museum store. We have bobbleheads for hockey, uh, which just started now, football, which is you know in full swing, mm -hmm. uh, and basketball, which is just starting. And so, yeah, we're really excited about that and have uh, just a ton of bobbleheads for all sports and uh, both players and mascots and really anything for any fan of all ages. Bobbleheads might have started with sports, but you have some bobbleheads that have nothing to do with sports. You have actually holiday bobbleheads for sale? <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have a full lineup of what we call mantle mates bobbleheads. They sit on a ledge or shelf behind uh, behind you or on any table. And so they've been a lot of fun. We have a witch for Halloween. We have a turkey for Thanksgiving. And for the winter holidays, we have snowman, elf, Santa, Mrs. Claus, uh, reindeer. And we also have bobble menorah and bobble dreidel for those who celebrate Hanukkah. So yeah, we really have everything covered and a lot of new bobbleheads, first of their kind uh, in terms of the menorah and the dreidel and, and several other new bobbleheads that you're not going to find anywhere else. Are most of these bobbleheads given as gifts or do people buy them for themselves? So it's a mix. We have some people who will buy, you know, quite a few bobbleheads for themselves and have huge collections and fan caves where they're putting up a ton of different bobbleheads. And then there is a ton of gift giving. So people who, you know, want to look for something unique that a person doesn't have, uh, bobbleheads put a smile on people's faces. And so it's something that, you know, makes a great gift for somebody of any age. And with the holidays coming up, it's our busiest time of the year. So we'll be shipping out a, a lot of bobbleheads in the coming months for uh, people to put uh, under the tree or to give us gifts this holiday season. Now the museum itself is located in Milwaukee. Is there any way for people to see the museum without coming to Milwaukee? Though we want them to come to Milwaukee, but is there a virtual way to experience the museum? Yeah, so we love when people come in from out of town. We have had visitors from all 50 states and about 25 different countries uh, come to the museum in Milwaukee, and we're open seven days a week. But we're also open 24-7, uh, 365 online and our virtual tour, so people can walk around uh, 360 degrees and, and take a look at the museum and exhibits and, and really experience, uh, get a little glimpse of the experience from, uh, from your couch or desk anywhere in the world. Wow. Phil, wait, so... Can people order bobbleheads that look like themselves? <laughs> yeah, so with the holidays coming up, like we mentioned, custom bobbleheads make a tremendous gift. Uh, that's definitely something that most people do not have. And we offer the ability to, for people to make a custom bobblehead of a friend or family member or themselves. And you can completely customize it or choose from about uh, 300 plus different pre-made options and have your own head on that bobblehead. And uh, yeah, that the look on people's faces when they get their own bobblehead or surprised with their own bobblehead is pretty funny. Uh, and it's definitely a one of a kind 
gift that uh, a lot of people are ordering and we're encouraging people to get their orders in now so there's not a, a last minute rush. Uh, they still have a few weeks to go. And so we're busy getting some of those custom bobbleheads going. Yeah, where can viewers get more information? Yeah, so our website is bobbleheadhall.com and you can go there and find out all the information about the bobbleheads, uh, the museum itself, the history of bobbleheads. We have the full timeline there. Uh, you can also get to our online store where we have several thousand different bobbleheads as well as the custom bobbleheads. So it's uh, a one-stop source for bobbleheads and people uh, can definitely submit ideas as well. We always are welcome uh, welcome to hear from uh, people who want to submit an idea for a bobblehead and uh, maybe it'll be the next Do you have one Phil? Do you have one of yourself? Yeah, so me and the other co-founder Brad both have, uh, <laughs> we have actually many bobbleheads that are on display at the museum in our welcome section so people can take a virtual tour and see our mini bobbleheads uh, with nice. the welcome panel welcoming well, visitors to the museum. Phil, so you're always there. Thank you uh, so much for the bubble, bobblehead update. Easy for me to say. <laughs> The world needs more bobbleheads. It yeah. definitely needs more bobbleheads. Thank you very much for spending time with Main Street Living today, Phil. Yeah, thanks for having me back. And yeah, bobbleheads put a smile on people's faces so we're having fun every day uh, trying to accomplish that mission. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Up Phil. next, Quincy visits with a baseball legend. Mm, this is a good one.